Hey everybody, Gregory here. Um, something that I've been, I've been wanting to do for quite some time, and this is just going to be me reviewing a movie. And now uh, this is not MC the movie critic, because you know, you know how MC is. Uh, so I'm going to talk about uh, Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. And I know I'm very, I know it's kind of late, I'm very late, I'm right behind about this, but you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna talk about Star Wars Episode Seven, and um, it is it is the movie that a lot of people have been wanting for. Like people wanted a new Star Wars movie because after Episode Three, there's no more Star Wars. Luke is not gonna make anymore. But ever since he sold the the Star Wars and Lucas films, and as well as Indiana Jones, which a lot of people don't know, to Disney. Now Disney had the opportunity to make this, make the seven Star Wars movie, and um, and this, and when this movie came out, people were people were very excited to see the new the new movie. Some people love it, some people don't like it because it's just the same. It's basically a remake of of of, of the first Star Wars movie, the fourth, um, the a New Hope, and. I guess, um, um, but before, before I say it, um, I'm, this, this video, um, I really dedicate, I, this, 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 this one I get, I get only one request, so, um, for, for you, if you're, if you're watching this, who request, who, who requested me to talk about Star Wars, Star Wars Force Awakens, well, here it is, I'll talk about it, but in order to talk about it, I, I guess the best the best place we should start with we start with the with the original trilogy and the prequel trilogy. Basically, it was my thoughts on it. Um, the first Star Wars movie was the best, the best we ever made, highest grossing film of all time, changed the way how we see movies, and honestly, is one of my favorite movies. I love the first Star Wars, one of the best. And The Empire Strikes Back was not only as good as the first one, but it was a lot better. It got darker. And it really shows that, that that the heroes didn't win. The the, the villains won. The Empire already had their had their victory and their payback with the rebellion. Now they have Han Solo is going to uh, now they took Han Solo to drop at the hut. So and then Return of Jedi came in. And honestly, personally, I like I love Return of Jedi. And but I find it more and more like it's, it's very fascinating because Return of the Jedi when that movie came out, um, people loved it. But nowadays, like. People are noticing how like, like 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 the movie like like a lot of people say that that it's basically the same the same as 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 the the fourth as the fourth one with, with a new hope where you know with with going to Tatooine and going to um, destroy the death the Death Star and blah 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 and and but to be honest. I think it kind of works. It kind of works, and there is, and yes, there is an environmental message right behind it because with the Ewoks fighting the technology and and the and all these big machines and, and walkers, so I guess it's sort of an environmental sort of message. But it works, honestly, it does work, and um, I love the climax. I like how Luke versus Darth Vader and and Darth Vader turns good and. It just ended the Star Wars trilogy. It ended the, the whole thing. And now the prequels came in. Episode 1. Um, it's funny because as a kid I loved it. But watching it like years later. like It's not as good as I thought. And a lot of people did talk about this movie. Like Red Letter Media talks about it. James Wolf talked about it. And now Doug Walker talks about it on Disney December. And I'll be honest with you. Like it's it's really bad, but personally, I don't think it's the worst. And um, I think it's fine. It's fine. I mean, like, yeah, the writing is is very cheesy, and the acting is very like it has its ups and downs. The acting has its ups and downs, but sometimes some actors give out a good performance. Like Liam Neeson gives out a good performance, and Will McGregor gives out a good performance, and uh, Ian McDermott as as Papa T, who, who is the em the emperor. Is is actually is pretty entertaining. Now they permanent did, did did good at least back then, and uh, and also the lightsaber battle was phenomenal, really phenomenal. Especially like the, the the music, the 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 the, chore the choreography where they clash like the lightsabers is really damn good. And 
Um, so I got nothing to say, but I think it, it is okay. I mean, it's not even great or spectacular. It's just your basic, your decent, basic um, Star Wars prequel. It could have could have been a better movie. Yes, it could have been a better movie. And then episode two came out, and I saw Doug Walker's review on Disney December on Attack of the Clones, and um, he said he said it, it, he he say he said that that. That is the worst of the, of the, of the, of the, of the movies, and I, is for me personally, I don't, I don't think it's the worst. It's not really that bad, honestly. I mean, yeah, like Anakin is very much of a whiny little ba little bastard, and also Ewan McGregor's like like the yeah, he's like doing his mission, and and I have nothing to say about the Star Wars Episode Two. I think I think it's okay. It's an okay film. And um, and the visuals were great, and and Natalie Portman and um, wait, actually Padme and Anakin, it's, it's 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 fine, it's fine. And um, and then episode three came in, and this is the one that actually did did redeem itself. Like this is like I feel we feel we feel like we're watching a Star Wars movie. And um. And it got darker, and we finally see Anakin became Darth Vader. And I, I, I'm not gonna go in great detail about it because there's a lot of talk about and about, about about Star Wars Episode Three. There's a lot of things to talk about. And now we have Episode Seven, The Force Awakens. And personally, at first, I don't like it. I don't like the idea of of a Star Wars Seven because after Episode Three, Revenge of the Sith, it was done. It was done. It concludes the whole Star Wars, tri tri not trilogy, but trilogy, but like the Star Wars film series. Now they're done. Now we can move on doing other stuff. But not to, not to say that they should stop making Star Wars stuff. Like they they could keep, they could keep on making like toys and TV shows. Where they keep on doing it, but no Star Wars movies. We're done. We're done with the Star Wars movies. And. Um, and, um, but when, when I heard about the movie, when the movie came out, people talked about it, all my friends talked about it, they said it was one of the best movies I ever made, and I was like, and I, but when I saw tr teasers and trailers of it, it got me curious, like, I really want to see this movie, like, I want to see, like, like, how good it is, because people talked about it, so, me and my brother watched this movie, I saw it with an open mind, and all throughout the entire movie, um, it's good. I liked it. I mean, I'll be honest, it didn't reach the stratosphere as the first Star Wars movie, like the original from 1977, but it did okay. It did fine. I mean, I'll be honest, I, I like the casting. I, I like the, the actor play as Finn, which is kind of weird because when I think of Finn, like, like okay, it's a, this is kind of a nitpick though. When I, so I, when I see the guy who's going to play as Finn in the movie, well, I was like, wait, wait. His name is gonna be Finn. Why you wanna name him Finn? When I, like do I, when I think of Finn, I think of like Finn for Adventure Time. That's why I think about. I was like, Finn, really? You can't think of a good name for a, a Star Wars character? Why did this? And then we have um, Ray, which again the name is not. To be honest, I just I just go with the name. I I love the actress who play who play as 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 her, and I thought it's gonna be, I thought it's gonna be more like American, but now it's but it's, but, it's, but it's British, but which I like her. I, her name is uh, what's her name? Daisy R Daisy Ridley. She did a great job in this movie. A great job. And and um and the one thing I, I want to talk about though is that while well, a lot of people have been saying, especially fans have been saying that that the that Star Wars Episode Seven is good, but not as good as, as the original. And so, oh, but people were, but some fans were upset that 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 isn't it, that the movie sucks. Like is it is it, basically a remake of of the first Star Wars movie, A New Hope. And to be honest, I'm not gonna pretend like I don't see that. When I saw the movie movie, um, I wasn't even thinking when I was watching. Like, I was like amazed because now I see a new Star Wars movie. But now, when I, when I, when once I go, go out, when I, when I now I think about it, think about it, and when I, when I saw like the like pictures and everything, you know, when I was okay, comparing like the the Force Awakens to A New Hope, 
yeah, I'll be honest, they do kind of have a place. Basically, you're you're basically watching an, uh, an a new version of a new hole. That's basically what you're wa what what you're watching. And at times, yes, but I'll be honest, not the entire way. But for me personally, at times it feels kind of manipulative because. It looks like they're trying to recreate the feel of the original Star Wars when it first came out. And they did it good. They did, they did good, a good job recreating the feel. But instead of like telling a good story, or telling a good story, they're just using elements and re re repeated elements and stuff that we see in, in, the, in, in A New Hope. And yeah, it could be a manipulative. It could have been. It, it would have been a, a a little bit of a rewrite or what else, whatever. A, a nice rewrite, and they'll and they'll be done. And um, yeah, I think it could have been kind of nice. But to be honest, at, like I said, like I said, at times it feels manipulative. But at least they did. They did. They gave us something new. Like they gave us like 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 this and that. And also, I like how they redesigned the stormtroopers. And also, we have. This silver stormtrooper, who's a woman, and also the the villain Kylo Ren. Lo I lo I like the villain though. I really like the villain. But I will admit, as much as I like Kylo Ren, I just don't like how he takes off the mask and reveals his face. I was I was like, to be honest, it sucked down all the 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 the. the, the I can't say the dignity, but excuse me. It, it sucked down all. The, it, I can't say. I can't say like it sucked down all the dignity, but it's, it's, it, it took away all the the the, the sinisterness and the, and this diabolicalness and like he like he's he's like like Darth Vader for example. Like Darth Vader, like he is bad. Like he's evil. He will do whatever it takes to find Luke Skywalker and, and 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 you know whatever. And it doesn't have that. Have that. And I wish they would have kept his face. His face covered in that mask, like like, like throughout the entire 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 film, like like from nine, eight, my like seven, eight, and then number nine, he he could reveal his face, just just like in Return of the Jedi, where Darth where Luke where Luke take takes takes off Darth Vader's mask to reveal Anakin's real face. It would have been a lot a lot a lot more nicer, and like I said, it feels um, early and. Okay, this, it contains spoilers, but I know a lot of people have seen it. But for those who haven't seen it, seen it, it it will contain spoilers. So if you haven't seen seen the movie, watch it now. Just go watch, go ahead and watch it. But I want to talk about uh, another thing. I, uh, I wanted to say is that it's the death of Han Solo. The death of Han Solo, like it really shocks me. It really shocks me a lot that he that he died, that that he went to see um, his son. Kylo Ren, which I, I think his name is Ben, I think. Yeah, 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 that's right. Ben, that's right, Ben, 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 yeah, yeah, I remember. He went to see Ben and he tried to tell him to come back to come come back to her to, uh, to to his father and his mother, Princess Leia. Well, not Princess anymore, just Leia. And and I was like, okay, they're gonna go back and he's gonna you know whatever, but then boom, he was dead. And I was like, No I was like, dude, you kill Han Solo. You, you do not kill Han Solo. How dare you kill Han Solo? I was like, mind blown. I was like, dude. Like, it was like, wow. Like, it really, like, shocked me. Shocked me that Han Solo, one of the most beloved characters of all time, died. It shocked me. But then again, but then, but then, but then, to be honest, that's kind of one of the few issues I ha I have with it because I feel like, with all honesty, I feel like the death of Han Solo feels very forced. Like, 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 like I just wish it was like maybe like in 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 the last in the very last movie, like say like Episode Nine, he died. Like I feel it's kind of is very forced. Like it it, it, doesn't, it doesn't feel earned. Like. I, at first, cause and to be honest, I feel kind of like up up and down when I saw that scene in the, in the theater. Like I feel like, oh my god! But then I say at the same time, like yeah, I feel kind of forced. Like I I wish that I wish they would have kept them alive until episode nine. That's why I wish. It said it goes for Kylo Ren. Do not take off the mask until episode nine. That's what I want in 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 this movie because, to be honest, 
it 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 kept us because if um if Kylo Ren never takes takes take takes off the mask until episode nine, it 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 just keeps us guessing and guessing and and it is all kept in mystery. Who is he? What did he want? Who is this guy? And then we found out by by like oh he is the son of Han and Leia. And maybe in episode nine, Ray will confront it and turn it back to the good side, and then whatever. But it just, I, you know, like, 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 like in the original trilogy, did that's what I want, and 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 I'm not gonna pretend like I'm uh, um, whatever, but I do feel sad when 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 Han, when Han Solo when Han Solo died, and Chewbacca like when I see him when I see him like by himself like like, like all sad, I was like, oh, poor dude. And 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 nobody, nobody comforts him. Nobody say like, "Hey, it's okay." And let me talk about. I want to talk about Finn. Finn, I like Finn. He's he's good, but I just don't like the idea how he holds a lightsaber. And no, no, okay. I'm not. I'm not gonna say like whatever. Like any racial whatever. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not like that. I'm open to it. I mean, come on. Mace Windu holds a lightsaber. Samuel L. Jackson holds a lightsaber. So I had no problem. Okay, I just want to I just want to point that out. I just want to point it out because I don't want to pe people take this the wrong way. But I just like the idea how Finn holds the lightsaber because personally, I think the person who could hold who could use the lightsaber is Rey because she's the one with the Force. I think she could have been been be the one who go, who could use the lights who could use the lightsaber and because she ha has the Force. And the battle with Kylo Ren and Rey. Uh, it was good. I thought it was it was good. It was really good. I liked it. Like I, I like how how he tried to like say the way say the way to join me and and, and I'll, I'll 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 teach you the ways of the force and she denies it and I just like the lightsaber battle. I just love love it. So I want and I and I want um sorry. I want Rey to be the Jedi. I want her. To, I want to see Rey to be the Jedi Knight and learn the ways of the Force and blah blah blah. And oh yeah, by the way, BB-8 is awesome. I love BB-8. At first, I don't like him because I like R2 more better, but BB-8, he's phenomenal. I like him. He's he's pretty he's pretty cool. I actually do like him. But I like how he he he, he met um um C three P and R two D two. I feel like 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 they're together. They're one. Woo! Oh my god. And yeah, I I actually do like like li like that, and um and Carrie Fisher as always gives out gives out a good performance, and I will not dare ruin the ending to this movie because I will not ru ruin it because is it is is it ending that I feel like oh my god like, like it really gets you excited to see to see what happens in the next episode episode eight like you really want to see what happens and I'm looking forward to see it I'm looking forward to see it because I want to see what happens. So, so my thoughts to this movie are very mixed, are very mixed. So, but despite that, I love, I love the episode seven. It's a, it's a, it's a decent film. Yeah, it feels kind of manip manipulative. It feels kind of forced, and it, and it feels like I'm watching a remake of, of a New Hope. But despite that, it's still a pretty good, good film. A pretty damn good movie. I really enjoyed it. I really liked it. I love the cast. I love the action. Uh, the music, to be honest, it has the Star Wars music, but it doesn't have that London Symphony Orchestra feel. Even though it's performed London Symphony Orchestra, and the music feels it's not it's not strong as it like as it like in four, five, and six and one, two, and three. It doesn't feel that 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 kind of strong. By no means disrespect the John Williams, cause I love John Williams. John Williams, he's the best. Uh, Jaws, I like him from Jaws. Close Encounters, E.T., Indiana Jones, Jurassic Park, Schindler's List, Star Wars, all of them. He did, he did, he is phen phenomenal. I'm a, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a sucker for, for movie music, TV shows, and video game music. I'm a sucker to this, to these, to these kind of stuff. Just like, just like the Walker is a sucker for colors and brightness and, and movies. But, um, like I said, I, I liked it. I really enjoyed it. So, I gave it um, simply an A. I can't say A minus or A plus, but just just an A, like a ninety five percent. That's how I, I, I will give it. It's it, it's a it's a good film. Um, so if you haven't seen Star Wars Episode Seven, then um, 
wait till it comes out on DVD. Because I'm sure it's not, it's not in theaters. I know some, but some places, but I'm sure it's not in theaters not, not anymore. So, uh, so if you want to see Star Wars Episode 7, buy on Blu-ray, buy on DVD, and watch it. It's a, it's a pretty damn good film. It's, 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 it's worth watching. If you want to see what happens. So, that's it. That's it. That's all I'm gonna say. So, if you like this video, press the like press press the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, just subscribe my channel. Cause I I would get I love to have more support. So, that's that's my thoughts on Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. So, I'll see you on my next um review, which will not be the movie crap. It'll just be me. So, um, I'll see you next time. Right? Peace.